Hey, what's up, everybody? Greg here. Um, Thursday. Just getting off work. Thought I'd uh, do a little video real quick. I was checking Brick Seek out uh, today, and according to it, a couple of the Walmarts nearby has some of the Thorwave in, and I still need a few pieces for that wave to finish my Hulk Gladiator. So I thought, you know, I haven't done any after work hunts this week, so why not go ahead and stop at a Walmart, see what they got. Um, maybe they'll have something. Never know. Looking forward to, uh, also, I finished my Vulture uh, yesterday, my uh, last piece for that wave uh, came in. Unfortunately, I never found it in the wild. I had to actually uh, ordered it offline or offline online. But the uh, homemade suit Spidey came in, so I uh, got my last piece for the wings. And I'll be honest with you, that that vulture build a fig that's that's pretty impressive. I was uh, I was really, of course, I mean. I was shocked, number one, that it had such an impressive, you know, wingspan. Um, I actually took a photo of it in comparison to my computer keyboard, and I was like, wow, this thing's huge. So that was definitely worth building. Um, I can't wait to get out this weekend and do some photos of it. Um, I don't know what I'm going to come up with, but I think it'll be pretty cool. Um, cause you know, if any of you guys are watching my channel, you, I've already gotten, uh, I've, I've started adding some photography related videos as well. How I set them up, how I shoot them, gear settings, the whole nine yards. So hopefully that'll kick off and get a little bit better. Um, so yeah, today I'm, I'm looking for the, uh, the Thor wave. There's a couple pieces, uh, that I need left on it. Um, we'll see what they got. Also, I have went down the uh, proverbial rabbit hole with the Marvel Knights wave. I've already got three of those figs. I've got the Daredevil, the Punisher, and Elektra. Uh, really cool figs. Really cool figs. The uh, detail, the, everything's really cool. Paint, everything looks nice on them. So, I'll probably pursue that wave as well. So the Thor wave, Marvel Knights waves, that's the two waves I'm really concentrating on now. Um, of course, you know, NECA, I'm always into the NECA stuff. Holy crap, this guy's wheel is literally falling off his car. Holy crap. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm looking for today. Uh, either Thor or Marvel Knights, either one. And uh, we'll go from there. So, uh, off to Walmart, wish me luck, and I'll see you there. I don't know. I don't know about you guys, but to me, it's weird to go into these Walmarts and there be nothing on the pegs. Like, nothing. And this has been going on for over, over two or three weeks to where you go in and it's almost like 
we're going to force everybody to buy everything else before we put anything new out. I don't know. Are there some kind of weird timeline? I, I don't get it. But anyway, Brick Seek was... I'm not going to say Brick Seek was wrong about that Walmart. It's just there's nothing on the shit on the pegs. So, oh well. Um, I don't know if I'm going to hit the other Walmarts uh, today. I might save that one for tomorrow. And uh, we'll go from there. So, uh, we'll, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's just, it's crazy. It's like, I, every Legends figure that was in there, all right, so I didn't take no footage of this, but as I was walking out through the garden center, they had a big, huge push racks, just full of clearance stuff. And all the, all the Legends that I took video of, they had the same legends on the racks for clearance for nine bucks a piece. Um, there wasn't that many there to choose from, um, so wasn't even worth you know going through them. But uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I was actually more interested in looking at the pops than I was everything else, and I don't even collect pops, but at least they had pops, so. But anyway, uh, yeah, I think I am. I think I'm just going to head to the house. I'll, um, tomorrow's Friday. I'll do the, uh, the other Walmart. Uh, I might hit two tomorrow. Uh, hit, uh, I don't know. I might hit three. It all depends on time. Um, my wife is actually working, um, third shift this week so she usually heads to work about nine o'clock at night so I try to go home and spend some time with her before she goes to work but there's two Walmarts for sure on the way home tomorrow a third one a little bit out of the way and uh, I don't know we'll see what happens but anyway happy Thursday I hope you had a great Thursday I hope you have found exactly what you're looking for today even though I did not but that's okay um, Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute before I end this. So, uh, SH Figure Arts, yesterday, um, I actually got my dead shot in. And, man, I posted a picture of it, a couple pictures of it on the Syndicate page uh, today. But, uh, you know, it's like 40, I think I paid 44, $45 for it. Um, about the same. You know, everybody that has the SH Figure Arts, you know, they're all about the same size as the Legend figs. But, man, the, the detail. I was, wow. Came with uh, his main his main weapon, his AR-15, uh, two head sculpts, mask on, then the Will Smith likeness, which was really, really a pretty good likeness. Uh, came with two extra pairs of hands. Um, so yeah, I haven't really got to uh, mess with it, you know, much. I, I took it to work with me today. It came in yesterday. Didn't have a chance to actually unbox it yesterday. So today I took it home with me, unboxed it, or excuse me, unboxed it today at work. Messed around with it. Uh, it's pretty, it's pretty cool. I think SH Figure Arts on some of them. Um, I've seen at Toys R Us the Rock and the Stone Cold Steve Austin, the wrestling ones. Um, they're they're okay, but you know these these are pretty cool. And I actually saw where uh, Cincy Nerd had picked up the you know uh, I think he got uh, an Iron Man, Tony Stark, Captain America. I think that's the three he got. And to be honest with you, he's the reason why I re look look you know want for this dead shot. Thanks, Cincy. But anyway, um, it's really cool. So if you haven't touched in on the SH Figure Arts, uh, man, give them give them a look. They're they're pretty cool. So I'm gonna say bye. I'm gonna get off here. I'm gonna fight through this crazy traffic. Oh my lord, 5:30 and I'm going through the school zone. Uh, but anyway, guys, I'll pick this up again tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow's Friday. Happy Friday early to everybody, and uh, I'll see you then. Bye. 
Hey, what's up everybody? Friday, August 18th, end of the week, off work. Nice. Alright, so, I think I'm going to swing by Walmart on the way home. Um, just to check it, haven't been there in uh, about three weeks. So I'm going to uh, swing by there, check it out, see what they got, if they've got anything. According to Brick Seat, they don't have nothing. But hey, I've went to Walmarts that Brick Seat says they have things and they don't. So hey, what the heck, let's try it. Uh, tomorrow, Saturday, I've got my normal early morning errand to run. Um, I haven't... I don't know if I'm going to hit the Toys R Us in Chattanooga or not, because tomorrow is Knox Nerd, I think that's what it's called. It's a comic and toy convention that's going on in Knoxville at, uh, I think over in Turkey Creek, the Holiday Inn. So I'm thinking about running up to that, uh, after just you know get down with my errands in the morning, boom, hit the interstate, it's about, uh, about an hour about an hour and a half check it out and while I'm there maybe hit the Toys R Us in Knoxville I haven't been to that one in a couple of months so I think that might be the plan for tomorrow uh, but for today let's go to a Walmart and I will see you inside Hey, what's up everybody all right so I just left Walmart and yeah I didn't really have much of anything so nothing that I was looking for but I just noticed that right beside this Walmart over in a little strip mall is a GameStop and I've never noticed it before certainly have never been in it so I think I'm going to uh, jump in there real quick and I don't know if I can take some footage I'll take some footage but uh, we'll see what they got so I'll see you in a bit
Hey, what's up? So, I just left GameStop and I'm happy. Um, it's a pretty good GameStop. Um, it's better than the one uh, up in Cleveland that I, that I went to. Uh, they had a really good pop selection, had a lot of the Justice League pops, uh, had a bunch of the, the, the bigger pops, which I've never seen anywhere in my area, the, the bigger ones. But uh, I was actually able to pick up one of the things that I've been looking for. And I'm really, really cool and happy because Hella is coming home. Yes. Thumbnail. Um wow. I'm uh I'm I'm pretty pretty stoked about this one. Um everybody that this is the first time I've seen it, you know, in box in hand. Uh the detail is just like everybody's talked about. It's it's crazy, crazy, crazy good detail. Uh it's the only one on the shelf. Um so I'm really happy that I was able to uh, pick that up uh, one one step closer to that Gladiator Hulk. So, uh, wow. Walmart let me down. GameStop came through. So I'm, I'm pretty stoked. Uh, paid a little bit more for it at GameStop than you would at Walmart. I think it was like 25 bucks after taxes and stuff. But, you know, I didn't really care, to tell you the truth. Um, so yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty stoked. So I'm going to call it a, an end for, uh, today's after work hunt. It was a complete success. I have no gripes, no complaints. I'm going to, uh, head to the house and, uh, break her open, take a look and, uh, let's see what, what actually, oh, okay. An arm. Cool. So yeah. Good day. So, guys, like I said, tomorrow I'm 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 gonna try my best to go to the Knox Nerd uh, Toy Show. Uh, as of right now, I don't see anything that's gonna stop me from going to it. Um, but as you know, with life, you never know what comes up. But either way, you'll see me tomorrow, um, either at Knox Nerd or Toys R Us, stuff like that here in Chattanooga. But anyway. Happy Friday, everybody. I hope that your Friday ended on a high note, just like mine just did. Uh, appreciate all of, uh, wow, yeah, I just appreciate the fact that I was able to actually find something I've been looking for. So you guys have a great Friday, and we'll do this again uh, tomorrow. See you later. Hey, what's up, everybody? Happy Saturday. Looks like we're going to be a beautiful day today. Sun's out, blue skies. So, I'm on the interstate. I'm heading to uh, Knox, Vegas, Knoxville, home of the uh, Tennessee Volunteers. Go Gators. That's for all my Vols fans. Anyway, so uh, the agenda for today is I'm going to go check out Knox Nerd. Um, I'm just going gonna, gonna to go up there. I'm going to see what it looks like. Um, and uh, try to take some, if, if I actually go in, I'm going to uh, take some footage and stuff like that. I know they're doing some comic book stuff, toy stuff. Looks like a lot of cosplay. Um, you know, things like that. So, um, I got my camera gear in the back. So I'm pretty excited about uh, checking that out. Then I'm going to uh, hit up a Best Buy in Knoxville and Toys R Us in Knoxville. So as of right now, that's the plan. Hopefully it won't change, but uh, I got about another, uh, according to my GPS, about another 50, 60 miles to go, and I'll be there. So, guys, I'll see you when I uh, when I arrive. Talk to you later.
my YouTube channel. All right. Our name is Dennis for Customs, or Toys for Customs. We're on Facebook and eBay. <laughs> yeah, we're on Facebook at Dennis for Toys. Have an awesome sale today. Yes, sir. He does that figure for Oh, cool. I'm getting that. He's wanting to put that on Facebook. Y'all got the phone YouTube channel, so. Yes, please. Yeah. We appreciate the publicity. He's got some uh, props. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's sister. That's sister. Well, there you go. Give me a give me a promo. Go ahead. Oh, I don't even know what to say. <laughs> I don't know. I'll put, put her on the spot. Guys. I know. She we're Sinister Tours. Hey. <laughs> we're from Kingsport, Tennessee. We're from Kingsport, Tennessee. Me and Rob been selling toys for years and years and years. We're here to meet all your toy needs all the time. Come out and see us. Tri-Cities uh, Toy and Hobby Show in September. Connapalooza in October. Three-day show. It's sure to be a blast. We'll be there. Hey, what's up guys? Greg from Greg Cook Photography coming to you from Knox Nerd in Knoxville, Tennessee. Well, a um, lot of people. Um, couple of rooms. Um, they had some pretty cool stuff there. Um, you know, it was, it was, it was, it was worth five bucks. I mean, that's how much it costs to get in there. Five bucks. Met some pretty cool people. Got some video while I was there. Um, it was crowded. The rooms were, the rooms were small. So you throw a couple hundred people into small rooms and it gets crowded. So, uh, hopefully the footage I got was really cool. I uh, hope you guys will enjoy it. Um, I did not walk away empty-handed. Um, I actually picked up a couple of things. Got Ares for my uh, Build-A-Fig for the Gladiator Hulk. Really, really cool about this. Um, I only saw, of course I got here at 10.30, so it started at 10. I only saw one of the vendors that had these. So, uh, he had Ares, and had Hella, and had a Loki. There was a guy in front of me that was really eyeballing this Ares. Thankfully, he put it back, and when he walked away, I snagged it. So, got Ares for my uh, my uh, build a figure, and I'm, the only one I think, I, yeah, the only one I'm missing now is uh, Lady Thor. That's the only one. So. Cool. I'm really happy about that. I met some uh, some really cool people. Um, I, I forget the name. I uh, apologize for that, but I actually put her on camera and she threw a shout out for their shop and everything. Uh, they had some of the uh, NECA uh, Dutch figures from Predator. Had a couple of them there. And I was really, really uh, stoked. Uh, so I picked up the uh, Dutch the uh, jungle extraction and the cool thing about it if you see they had you know 25 on there and so I, I done my little interview with them let them do their little plug we were talking and uh, she she only charged me 15 bucks for it so that was really cool of them I really appreciate them and uh, thanked them told them they didn't have to do it uh, they got to make money I was willing to pay the 25 you know um, but yeah, overall, not a not a bad little uh, haul here. Thumbnail. So yeah, I'm I'm pretty stoked. Um, I went in there, um, not really knowing what to expect, and was pleasantly pleased. Like I said, it costs five bucks to get in, and. Didn't see a lot of, they're supposed to be doing cosplay. I didn't see a lot of people dressed up or anything. Um, some decent amount of comic books, not a lot. There was one guy there had a pretty cool little uh, Star Wars stuff set up. A lot of figs that I've only seen, never in person, uh, but there were some really cool ones. Uh, they had some um, play art stuff there. Uh, the Wonder Woman looked really cool. Batman looked really cool, but they were like 150 bucks a piece. Um, so, you know, I didn't really pull the trigger on any of those. So, 
So anyway, I'm leaving Knox Nerd, and I'm going to go find uh, the Best Buy that I need to go to in Toys R Us, and we'll see you there. Hey, what's up everybody? 
right. I'm leaving Toys R Us. I've accomplished the three things that I wanted to do today. Knox Nerd, Best Buy, Toys R Us. Um, and this Toys R Us here in Knoxville definitely is so much better than the one in Chattanooga. Uh, I don't get to get up here that much because it's about an hour, about an hour and a half from my house. So, uh, you know, whenever I get the opportunities to come to Knoxville, you know, you just try to hit as much as you can. There is a Barnes and Noble over here. Um, however, my budget is done. Um, I'm, I'm tapping out for the day. But uh, the Toys R Us here, they did have some things. Um, they had the uh, two-pack Dark Phoenix and Cyclops. They had about six of those, if I remember right. Um, I really, really, really was wanting to pick that up, but I mean, it's still 40, 39 bucks, 49 bucks. Um, I did not leave empty-handed from Toys R Us. There has been something that I've been looking at, not from getting a series or a wave or anything like that, but just this one particular fig. Uh, and it's purely from a photography point of view. I like the color, I like the detail. I just, there's something about it I like. Um, it goes a lot, the color scheme is really a, similar to the Prometheus wave. Uh, so I picked it up. They had it uh, for 14 bucks, 14.99. Um, I've seen it in Chattanooga, uh, but I have not seen it anymore. And I did not pick it up when I saw it in Chattanooga, and I've not seen it since. So when I saw that they had two of them in here, decided let's just go ahead and pull the trigger and get it. But the uh, Mr. Freeze from the Wrath of the Villains, I really, really like this 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 fig. I like the color. I like the head sculpt. I think um, I think it'll photograph well. So that's what I've picked up today. You know, I've got Aries, Dutch, Mr. Freeze, Stormtrooper helmet. I think it's been a good hunt, guys. A good Saturday hunt. Um, I'm really happy with what I picked up. I'm really happy with getting out today and enjoying it. I met a lot of cool people today. It was just fun. I uh, hope you guys have had some success uh, with your hunts today. hope you found exactly what you're looking for. Um, in recap, I only need one more fig for the Gladiator build a hook uh, fig. That's uh, Lady Thor. Uh, they didn't have none in here. They didn't have none of those. They did have one Punisher from the Knight's Wave, and that was it. That was all they had for the Knight's Wave. Uh, they did have a couple of the... They didn't have none of the Justice League. Uh, nothing. They did have a really cool... They had some pretty cool pops. Had some X-23s. Had a bunch of those. So if you need an X-23 pop, come to the Knoxville uh, Toys R Us. They've... I think they had, I think I counted at least 10, 12. But anyway, I'm uh, heading back to Cleveland. I'm gonna pick me up some lunch and uh, I'm gonna call it a day for this, uh, this hunt. So guys, hope you have a great day and we'll see you next time. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you uh, appreciate what I do. So this is Greg, I'm signing off and I'll see you next time.